Okay, people. I'm going to be doing the... I'm going to be farming for the sacred... Uh, the Blood Fiend Sacred Spear. So, here we go. Uh, going to be a lot of feedback, so I'm going to go ahead and put my headphones on. Here we go. Not that way, you gotta go this way. So right now my weapons I'm gonna be using are America's Hammer, Blood Fiend's Sacred Arm, and Malika's Black Blade. So I put Prayer for Strike on the Blood Fiend's Sacred Arm and I just pretty much max all three of these weapons out and we'll see how they hold up and my spells I'm going to be using are Light of Magella, Giant Golden Arc, Impenetrable Thorns, Mass of Puchescence, Fleeting Microcosm, Reign of Fire, and Ghost Flame Breath and Midra's Flame of Frenzy. I'll be using all these on these characters just to showcase them as I'm farming. And change up the look a little bit here. Yeah. change up the look a little bit here I'm going to go ahead and where the hell is it Go with this. I'm not changing the look up because I don't really want to get rid of my equipment right now. I'm not even going to use that. These are all the weapons maxed out. There's only one that's going to give me the spears, but I got to get rid of all these other knuckleheads first. Let's use my spell first. Light of Miguel is pretty damn good because it goes far. And Rain of Fire does too. that dog at no he's the one I actually want to farm the one that's patrolling but what I want to do Well, nothing else really has long range. So we'll go ahead and hit this guy with... Golden Arc. See if that hits him. OK, 
okay, he did not drop what I wanted. Uh, as for that, I guess I'll just see if, this is. see if that hits the dog. Nope. Let's see if this hits him. That's pretty good. Let's try this. Alright, this weapon here is pretty much a one-shot or so. That's pretty good on this. Alright, let's go back. gonna stay with the same weapons so you see that this weapon is pretty damn good when it's maxed out at max everything I mean I got everything is maxed out so this is the showcase on a weapon is it worth maxing out all your is it worth maxing out this weapon yes it's definitely worth it Now let's try this one. Uh, this one is really only for another dungeon. And I'll get into that in another video. But for now, you see that the Master Protestance is pretty damn good. get that dog's attention. I don't know if that's going to reach him. Nope. This will. This will always reach. Let's try to ghost flame breath on this guy. Ghost flame. Go around. That's pretty damn good. Okay, back to drawing the dog out. This might actually work to kill the dog, but I just want to get the dog to come at me. Eh. Let's just kill him. That's not going to work very good because that has a limited distance. This does too. So let's lure him over to me. Let's use this, this good distance. Ow! Just 
See, that's a pretty good weapon. That's pretty good with that special move. Now, I like to think of the prayerful strike as a very good skill. You put it on a powerful weapon, it can really do some damage. This is a one-shot weapon right here. The only sk skill I haven't done yet is this. Major's Flame of Frenzy. So we're going to try this one out next. This one takes some finesse. You really got to have some skill to use this weapon or this spell. Here we go. There we go. Okay, it, it, it makes some quick, quick damage, but you have to be able to use it in order for it to be able to be effective. So, maybe if I had better poise, I'd be able to do it. So I could equip myself with a crap load of armor. Let's go ahead and get these dogs out of the way. Now let's see how our one shot does against this Blood Fiend Hexer. One shot. Another one shot coming up. Don't do it. Ugh. Did it. Come on, get off of me already. three weapons. A good one shot with this weapon here. I see the go-tos. Now, let's put some poise on me. That's 35. Right, I don't really care about that, but I could wear it just because I, it's going to be an interesting outfit. Uh, what's one point? Let's see here. This is 71, that's 73. Let's wear this one, because that other one is just uh, uh, awkwardly. Now. So those are the best gloves you can wear. I could actually go to a hundred poise. Well, I want to see what this helmet looks like on me. That's kind of dumb. I, it ain't worth it. 
Let's do this. There we go. Now let's see how our poise does when I'm trying to do this. Yeah, a little fat roll there. Come on, bro. Ah. All right, that's not going to matter. All right, you're dead. Alright, so the poise doesn't really matter. What the hell? Now once I use this priestess heart, I will never be able to change outfits again, but let's see what it does to my poise. Yeah, zero. Zero poise. Not not very good. Now we're gonna go in and do some damage. Some AoE damage. Alright. Once again, a failure on the attempt of getting that weapon. I must have ran this like a hundred times already and still haven't gotten that weapon. Alright, so... Let's change out weapons now. This is the best weapon I have. The strongest weapon. Let's see what this does. I still would like to keep both of these. So we'll just go ahead and showcase one at a time. This is the Smithing Art Spears. And the weapon is Anvil Hammer. And it's plus 10. So it is right now the best weapon in the game due to the DLC. But does it compete with those? But does it compete with these two? Not really. It doesn't. It's supposed to be the best weapon, but it doesn't really compete with their special attacks. Gotta get his attention here. It only does 19.6. Get that dog out of the way. If I get that other dog out of the way too. Let's get him out of the way. Light of Miguel is a really good spell. Yeah, see, it doesn't do quick work. 
like this. Still very slow. Blithy's fork, not what I wanted. So you see, even being the strongest weapon, it still doesn't do quick damage. Next weapon will be this. Third best. Oh, I already know, this isn't really going to do too much. But we'll try it out. Once we get past America's Hammer, we're pretty much down into uh, non-one-shot weapons. Yeah, Slumbering Egg is pretty useful to have. All right, the jump, the jump skill is pretty is uh, pretty cool, but it just doesn't do the. And this one here is a good weapon, but the charge to use the special attack is very slow. Oh, I missed. What? Oh. I didn't miss. Two-handed or one-handed? Two-handed or one-handed? Let's use it two hands. Okay, that's not bad. One strong hit and one weak hit. Not bad. Not bad, but the charge up to be able to do that is very vulnerable. We all know what this weapon does. We know that's a good one. Then there's this. Now, I have Savage Lion's Claw on it. Lion's Claw, we know, is a pretty damn good skill, but this one is even better. And I figured I'd put it on this because how bad would it hurt to get smacked with the lion's claw with this giant ass hammer only thing is the view was horrible this is one of my favorite skills right here I like this
Let's do it one handed. Still better than this one here? No. Oh, we know what this one does. This one here is a good, a good weapon, but it's an old weapon. Pretty much want to do the old weapons. I'm just really checking out the old weapons. This one here is good, but hey, like I said, it's old. Here's the Fire Knight's Cold Greatsword. Now, you know, we're not going to get much more damage because of this, but let's see what this thing does with the... Savage Lion's Club. Well, Savage is not going to do better than this one. So. This sword has a new skill on it. Uh. Let's use this thing. Okay, so. If you're familiar with the Shadow of the Erd Tree and the weapons that they have on it. There is a new skill, a new weapon that has this, it's called a Smith Script, which means you can throw your weapon with the strong attack. This one is unique because you can hit somebody while you're trying to throw it. And the longer you hold the charge button in, the further you can throw the weapon, or the longer you spin it so it doesn't do a lot of damage but it's pretty good there you go three hits now it doesn't go very far do that that just pissed the dog off. Again. There I go. <sighs> now I put Stormcaller on this one just because. Pretty damn good weapon. Pretty damn good skill. I like that. That was quick. Stormcaller is not on this weapon. It's more like an indoor type thing. I like putting special. So that's pretty good for this weapon. And no, not all my weapons will one-shot people because I have maxed out abilities. Not all weapons are good, but some of them are. But some of them are good. Let's go with Relana's twin blades. Now they're only plus nine, but they are pretty damn good.
Okay. Strong attack. All right. Okay. Weak attack. Depending on what you like, moon or fire. Let's go on to the next. Sorrow Sunflower Blossom. Shadow Sunflower Headbutt. Let's just get him out of the way. What? Yeah, he's out now. Let's go headbutt this guy. Of course, he never drops what I want. Okay, you're not gonna attack me, so let's use this one. This is one of my favorites right here. That's a pretty good one shot. That's quick, too. That will make quick work. You're trying to run through the game. I do like this weapon a lot. But the only way to get this weapon is by killing a dragon. That you had to press the special button twice, so. This is one of my favorites too right here, but this is an old weapon. Let's see. This, I really am not fond of this weapon here. It's one of the first weapons you get though. that pretty damn dumb. And it's slow. So not a good word weapon. Now here's an interesting one. That didn't hit him.
No! Shit. Alright, well. Let's use that weapon on this guy. Or skill. That is a pretty good weapon. we got here. There's a good weapon with a new Ash of War. This is a new Ash of War right here. And I will showcase it. this guy and it's not really doesn't do a lot of damage but it's pretty cool to use pretty much all that does. And here's another new Ash of War. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to work. I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to hit the special weapon, the special skill, and then, and then weak, weak attack. No, it doesn't go that far. Come on, get him. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that's the weak attack. I'm gonna use a strong attack on this guy next. Oh, there you go. It's kind of like that spear that you get from the Deathrite bird. What else we got here? Ah. The two new weapons you get from beating the final bosses. Let's do this one first. The light weapon. Okay, he's next. Ah! That was a strong attack. We'll hold on to this weapon and do it some more. <sighs> you know, farming one character but showcasing the weapons is okay. But farming the one character and out without showcasing them is kind of boring. But I want that damn weapon. Where 
Where's this fat guy at? There he is. Alright, homie. I'm gonna do the quick weapon, not the long version. Hey, that's not bad. Great, got both of them coming after me now. What the hell? Went over there? Back to this one again. So, this is where you get the Blood Fiend's Fork from. Or the Blood Fiend's Sacred Spear. I'm sure there are other characters that... There are other spots to farm them at, but this is... From what I've searched, this is the best one to farm them. And they're usually only one in the area. That sucks. Because their drop rate is extremely low. Let's use this one. Now, this one I like more than that one. Because this was an actual attack. See, that is a good weapon. So either one of those two weapons is actually okay to have, but that one is the better one. I like that one better. Lord, the Lord weapon, not the light one. Sacred Smith script axe. The Thunderbolt is a regular. It's from the original game. But this is another one of those throwing weapons. If it says Smith script, that means you can throw it. Not really worth showcasing. All these other weapons are going to be pretty much crap. This is just a regular great katana. I put aspects of the crucible wings on it because that's a pretty good skill. Now I might have something else to have that on it. Oh, here's something I, I could showcase. This is a this is like giant hunt, but with fire. And it doesn't really do as much damage as Giant Hunt does, but you can follow up with a second attack. Here we go. Not as good as Giant Hunt, but at least lights the sword up. Really not as good as Giant Hunt. 
The giant hunt sends them flying and does some really serious damage. Ah, here we go. The poison flower blooms twice. This is a poison rotten great axe. Uh, one of my original weapons from before the DLC. But this is the Ash of War is new. Pretty good Ash of War. I like it. The, the charge up is pretty slow. Which means you have to have some good time to use the skill. But the damage the skill does is tremendous. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta hit him. That's enough of that weapon. It's pretty good. You get it early, so it's a good weapon. It's a good ash of war to put on early. Or is it? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm not really sure anymore. Yeah, whatever. All right, here we go. Ah, right, here we go. The spinning gravity thrust. This is a new one. I have it on this weapon because this weapon is weak and I wanted to make it a little bit more powerful. So. This one, you're pretty much invincible while you use this skill. This was I like because it can't knock the poise out of you. Here we go. Cool, right? I love it. So it's pretty much attack twice and you can do an extra long version of that skill. If you only do attack, if you only attack once, it'll only do it. So again, on someone that I'm not attacking. Boom. But if you press it twice, it'll follow up with a secondary spin. Okay. What is next? Here we go, let's use this one. This is a nice and, and quick one to do, especially if you're far away from somebody.
Yo! Uh, Freya's sacred great sword. Blink bolt does not come with it. The great this actually has the spinning attack on it. So I took it off because I wanted to put it on something else, and putting it on something else made that weapon stronger than this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a blink bolt on this on this weapon. This weapon isn't really worth getting, except for maybe the Ash of War. So you can take the Ash of War off it and put on something else. Oh, I missed. Sweet. One weapon, one two-handed. Yep. Here we go. Like both, pretty cool. More like a very dangerous bloodhound step. Go. Yep. Executioner's great axe is a weapon you get from the the DLC Shadow of the Earth Tree, but I put Spinning Slash on it because I didn't like the skill that was on it, so this is really nothing big. Again, here's another Kratana. Oh, it's the same one I was just using. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Spear of the Impaler. Mesmer's Assault. This one you get from beating Mesmer. This is a good weapon. A sneeze coming on! Allergy season is in effect. Just because I have to blow my nose. I like for this guy to walk around. All right, here he comes. Let's put it in one hand because I'm not going to need. Oh. And in case you're wondering, the weapon I have on my left hand is actually casts incantations and spells. So, very good weapon. Nope. No, 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 no. There, that's a good weapon right there. All right, the hour is almost up, so I'm gonna go ahead and... So you see, I almost spent a whole hour of fighting the same character over and over again, which I was also showcasing weapons. So, this is a very difficult, that is a very difficult weapon to get. Not the one I have now, but the one that I'm trying to get. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut, shut it down, and I'll see you around. And I'm going to continue my mission on getting a weapon.